Hey everyone, I have a, another Halloween set for you today. So I'm going to use Born Pretty JN44 and 48. And I'm also going to be using the Super Shine Magnetic Gel. And also the Milky White, I think it is. Yeah, Milky, Milky Jelly Gel. So that is a Milky White, all from Born Pretty. These are the tips we're going to use today. Um, I will have a um, link to the Warm Pretty website down below as well um, as well as my discount code and I will put it in the pinned comment as well just to make it easier for you guys so we're going to start just applying the polishes now because there is quite a few steps so this is obviously the Jelly Red I think this is the 48 one, JM48 I'm pretty sure it is and then we're going to have two, two nails two full nails of that hang on yeah, two two full nails of this, and and then on the next nail, I'm gonna put it just in the middle. It's kind of like yeah, just kind of in like the the middle part of the uh, of the nail. It will make sense once the video goes on, and then I will cure that. Any second coats, I think I apply it off camera. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So I'm going to cure that as well. And then this is the purple. It's really nice. I really do like these uh, these jelly colours. I wish I had wish I had got some more now. Um, I may head over to the website and grab some more. Because they are really, really nice. Really nice. Um, and then this, this is the cat eye one. So this is the super cat eye. You can use this underneath jellies, on top of jellies. Um, yeah, there's lots of different ways that you can use this, which is really, really good. So I'm just going to put it on this, this clear tip. It will make sense as the video goes on. So I do have this Born Pretty Magnet that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to sort of like, just have a sort of bit of a play with it. Just have a play with it in, you know, once you're happy, then cure it in the light. If you're not happy with it, you can just apply another layer and it res resets it. So that is that one there. So, um, oh, this is the second coat of the red jelly. It's going on here. It builds up really nicely. I like that. I like that it builds up kind of quite, not slowly, slowly, but kind of slow, if you know what I mean. So you can have it exactly how opaque or sheer that you want it to be which I really, really like. I love this one. This one's so pretty. And I mean, this this is over a clear tip and this is two coats, so it's amazing. Well, I have applied a second layer of the magnetic, so I'm just gonna activate it now. It's really pretty. Yeah, just having a sort of like, just having a bit of a play with it. Just getting it how I want it to be. And then I'll cure that as well. And now I'm going to apply the cat eye over the jelly red. So I'm just applying that on now. Really, really pretty. And then again, I will activate it. It just gives, oh, it's just so, so pretty. If you haven't got this cat eye, I definitely, definitely recommend it. Definitely do. And these jellies, oh, I just love them. Just look at that. It's how much it just moves. It's amazing. Give me one second. Sorry about all that noise. That's outside. It's really, really noisy. Anyway, so that's what that one looks like. So I'm going to apply it kind of in the middle of this one. And then activate it. And then put it in the lamp. Once I'm happy. And I'm curing these for six seconds in my uh, LED light. There we go, just gonna activate it again. I do like how this set turned out as well. I was quite happy with all my Halloween sets apart from maybe one or two. I was quite happy with them. There you go, that's what that one looks like. And then on this one we're going to use the um the jelly one. There is there is a method to my madness. You're probably thinking, what is she doing now? Don't worry. It will all make sense. <laughs> so that is two coats of the of the the uh, the jelly red, by the way. 
I'm just putting the milky white over the top and then I thought I'm going to see what this looks like over the magnetic and it looks so pretty really really pretty I'm so glad that I tried it it looks really really nice really nice Perf it would be perfect for Christmas so pretty so that is all the nails there so we're going to do some stamping so I'm going to use Dixie Plates Ouija and I'm also going to use Beauty Be Bang Game XL001 and I'm going to use She Modern Opaque Sticky Stamp Polish in black and white and I'm going to use Charlie's Nail Art uh, Glow in the Dark Pigment this is Aqua and I'm going to use this top coat which is for my glitters and pigments and I'm going to use these glow in the dark stickers that I got off Amazon um, I got them last year I think it was I never got around to using them so I've jumped straight ahead <laughs> um, so yep this is the first one I forgot to hit record but then I was like oh no no wait 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 <laughs> so that is the first one so we're gonna stick that one on and then we shall stick another one in the middle there you go just gonna just push it down very very easy super easy to do and then I'm going to place this one kind of at the top but sort of offset a little bit and then I have applied the top coat to the other nails so I'm just going to buff them off like I normally do and if you're using a matte top coat as well do the same because otherwise the pigment will stick so that's why I'm doing this and then I will just wipe it off you don't need to buff, like, kind of buff away it. You just want to just buff the shine off. Just to remove that sort of, like, um, that sort of rubbery texture. And there you go. Just wiping them all off with just some rubbing alcohol. So we're going to go in with the Dixie plates first. I think the majority of the stamping is from this plate. So we're going to use the planchette. So just going to my polish on scrape it this is a she modern scrape it as well and i am using the reinforced uh, jelly stamper also from she modern as well so you can use my discount code on the website um you can't use it on amazon but you can use it on the main website so i'm just going to line it up where i want it to be and i did press down by accident i think i wiped this one off like yeah i did yeah because i wasn't happy with it I was missing the very tip and I wasn't happy with the placement of it. So once I'm happy, I will. That's that, that's the good thing about using gel polish. You can just wipe it off if you're not happy. Um, and then I'm just going to stamp hello near the top part. And I still had the H stuck. <laughs> um, and then I will stamp the goodbye as well. But obviously this is too long for the nail. So I did it, kind of broke it in half. So I put good, and then I put by at the bottom. Just like that. She says, there you go. Just going to add that little bit in. There you go. So now I'm going to go in with the pigment. Um, This is my pot that I transferred it in, by the way. It comes in a little, like, baggy thing. Um, So I'm just going to apply it onto the stamper, uh, stamping image. I'm going to put it on with a brush first just sort of like just pushing it in making sure that it's you know covered enough and then I will go in with my finger oh sorry I yawned oh so sorry um, and then go in with my uh, my finger and then just push it in just a little bit more and then I will slightly rub it kind of very very gently I'm not actually putting any pressure on I'm just rubbing it around just in little circular motions and then I will dust it off with my brush so that is the first one done there and then I will go on to the next one so this next one I wasn't happy with the first image again so I will show you me stamping it then I will remove it and then I will stamp it stamp it properly the way that I want it to be I don't know what was up with me this day I think it's just my hand is just like just playing up so so I wasn't happy with that pick up it's going to go in again and I was happy with this one but then 
when I stamped it on, the stamper moved. So then I wiped it off and I put it back on again. Right, so here I'm going to put this image together. So this is uh, one of the images on the plate. So I'm just trying to sort of like line it up how I want it to be. It was a little bit fiddly, but um, for me, it's quite easy for me to sort of like plan it out because I've been doing stamping for a long time. But just have a just just play around with it. So there we go and stamp that along the bottom. And then along the top, we're going to have that there. And then we're going to have the eye. And then we're going to have that there. And then the moon. <laughs> there you go. I have removed the other images. Um, and again, I'm just going to go in with my brush and just pop the pigment on. Um, and then when I'm happy, I will go in with my finger just to push it in just a little bit more. And then kind of almost like buff it in. And then I will wipe it off again. So I do do have discount codes for Born Pretty, which is KND10, all in capitals. But I will have a direct link. Um, I do have discount codes for, obviously, She Modern and... Uh, Charlie's nail art as well. This paper is really, really good. She has, uh, I think it's three or four different ones on there. Very, very good. Very good price. And they glow amazing. You will see at the end, amazing. But that is that one there. So then on this one, I'm going to pick up this candle. I think this is this set nearly done. Yeah, it is. Need a couple more minutes left. Well, it went quick. I'm just going to stamp it just on the bottom like that and then I'm going to have this at the top I seem to do one of these one of these sets every year <laughs> I did one last year oh, I've done another one this year yeah very dangerous things to play with Ouija boards do not play with them unless you know what you are doing if, if you believe in like that sort of stuff. I do personally myself, but each to their own, isn't it? Right, so there you go, buffing it in, buffing it in. And then I will dust it off. And then I'm going to go in with the Born Pretty Super Top Coat and finish them all off. Um, And then I will uh, put like a little charm that I got off of uh, AliExpress ages ago. I think it's probably last year. And then that is this set done. So I will have a clip of them uh, in normal light. And then I will have glow in the dark as well. And then I will have the pictures at the end. So I do hope you enjoyed my video today. Please let me know your thoughts down below. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye.